Now, on its face, the title of this video is preposterous. It's ludicrous. Bill Belichick has six Super Bowl rings, one of the greatest coaches of all time. Actually, the GOAT. The GOAT. The other has, what, a 38-7 NFC title game loss? Cool. But you would think that both defensive-minded coaches from the Bill Parcells tree, maybe there's a little bit of correlation there, but nope. No, not so much. Now, I must confess, I'm a bit of a Belichick apologist. I read the biographies, listened to the podcast. It's all good stuff, and I, I respect I respect the, the work and thought process that he puts in to field the best teams in the National Football League consistently. Consistently. Minus last year. But they're back in the saddle, getting things done again. But the stark difference, the Grand Canyon-sized chasm between uh, one of the greatest all-time coaches in Belichick and Mike Zimmer, who's fine, was on display at the end of their respective games week 13. Vikings, rush three, drop eight against Jared Goof and the winless Lions. Guys not getting to their zones, playing past the goal line, and you lose. You lose. Good day, sir. Belichick, on the other hand, against the Bills on the final play on Monday night, goes zero blitz. So man-to-man -man across the board, blitzing seven, no safeties against 2020 MVP runner-up Josh Allen. That's the difference. If you're going to strike out, Go down swinging, not looking. You can't make contact with the ball unless you get the bat off your shoulder. And it comes down to coaching, too. Belichick trusted his defensive backs to be in the right place, so they manned up and they blitzed. Zimmer, not so much. Not only did they play prevent defense, they played a soft zone in the red area. Guys didn't even get to the landmarks. At least three of the Vikings were out of position. And that is all coaching. It's all coaching. And if your student doesn't understand the lesson... It is the teacher's fault. It's not that the student is stupid. It's not that the student didn't get it. It is on the teacher to cater the message specifically for each individual student. And Belichick, he's a great teacher of football. Zimmer, I don't know. I, I don't know. So that microcosm is the difference. And you can say, eh, well, Jim, Gerard Mayo calls plays on defense. You don't, you don't think Belichick has uh, oversight on his defense? Get out of here. Get out of here, man. And we know that Zimmer calls plays on the Vikings defense. Yeah. Bottom line is Belichick plays to win. Zimmer plays not to lose. And that's exactly it. Also, adding the Patriots on both offense and defense have a different game plan every single week, specifically catered to their opponent that week. Uh, every single game, it's going to be a little bit different. And they will take away what their opponents do best. They will make them play left-handed. When have we ever felt that way about Zimmer? When? Oh, since 2014, it has always been, hey, bend but don't break defense, be good in the red zone, on third down, third down for what? Hey, double A-gap mug uh, look, and also we're going to run the ball, set up play action. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it every single year, 2014 to present. Whereas Belichick, you know, in the prime Brady years, and Belichick, by the way, is the head coach of the entire team, as opposed to just a uh, defensive coordinator with the challenge flag. And guess what? Going from those early Super Bowl years when they run the ball, play good defense, and then the prime Brady years, oh, we're going to throw the ball all over the lot, right? Because we got Randy Moss, we got Wes Welker and whatnot. We got prime ass Tom Brady. We got uh, we got Gronk. We got Aaron Hernandez. Cool. And that defense has shifted. Uh, it started as uh, initially as that big guys up front, 3-4 defense, and then it morphed, and then it became a 4-3, and then it became a mixed front, and now they're back to it. Now they're back to running the ball, playing good defense, keeping Mac Jones out of trouble. It's working. It's working because you cater your strategy to your personnel, not the other way around. Not just trying to jam your personnel into your strategy. It's just... Plus, Belichick is rarely outcoached in-game. He's prepared for game management, situational football. His players are too. Meanwhile, Zimmer is constantly having circles coached around him. Uh, do you think Belichick ever calls two timeouts in a row because he forgot... Or someone yelled, hey, take a timeout. Well, someone yelled, take a timeout. I already took a timeout. I know that I took a timeout. I better call timeout anyway because someone is telling me to. Great. Or do you think Belichick squib kicks it before halftime against Arizona, allowing Matt Prater to kick a 96-yard field goal? Hmm. Or do you think Belichick and his defense let Jared Goof march 75 yards down the field for a touchdown, especially the one play that you blitzed and brought pressure on that final drive, Jared Goff almost threw a game-ending interception. Hmm? Do, you, do you think that happens? Or do you think that Belichick lets the legend Cooper Rush march 75 yards for a game-winning touchdown in your building? Or do you think that Sam Darnold uh, it marches 96 yards and a touchdown and a two-point conversion huh, to force overtime? No. Belichick did bad things to Sam Darnold, by the way. But nah. and, and again, Mike Zimmer... 
at his core, is a fine football coach. Under the right circumstances, when his talent is healthy, he's even a good football coach. But as we say on here a ton, do not let good be the enemy of great. We need to find our Belichick, and we need to keep trying until we do. And that's it. But your thoughts are our thoughts. The difference between Belichick and Zimmer, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.